Good morning students! Welcome to our English 10 class. Today, we are going to learn a new lesson for your English 10 class. Before that, let us all pray. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day that you have given to us. Guide us, Lord, as we learn a new lesson in English today. In Jesus' name, Amen. For your class rules in this online class, number one, respect. Don't forget to respect your teachers in all subjects and your classmates. And also, find a conducive place. Find a good place so that you will learn better. Also, for your safety, always follow proper wearing a face mask when going outside. Observe social distancing and always bring a personal alcohol and ball pen during releasing and retrieval time. I know that some of you are excited to learn our new lesson today, but before that, we will have first an activity, and I believe all of you are familiar with this game. This is the four peaks and one word. I'm going to show to you four pictures flash on the screen, and you are going to guess the word. In the first picture, you can see a phone. In the second, you can also find there a laptop. The third, uh, you will see their books. And the fourth, you can see that there are friends sharing. So what do you think is the word? So if your answer is research, then you are correct. Good job, students. I think for some of you, did all of these things in your studies, especially now in this pandemic crisis. I will ask you some questions to ponder. So are you familiar with the word research? Yes, as I believe all of us know how to research something on the internet. How can we use research in our daily lives? Okay, very good. Research can help us to discover a lot of things that we do not know. So what is the importance of research? Of course, research will guide us on what to do and what to learn, especially when we are learning independently. With that said, what do you think is our topic for today? Do you have anything in mind? Alright, so our topic for today is technical terms and research. As what we had in our activity earlier, we heard what research is all about, but did you know that there are technical terms that we should know as we approach in making a research paper? We have here the SIP or the Science Investigatory Project. This refers to a science-based research project or study that is performed by school children. SIP is a form of research that deals primarily on the experiments that are science-related. With this, we can say that research can find answers to things that are unknown, filling gaps in knowledge, and changing the ways or practices in all learning areas. Therefore, research is very important in all subjects. Now, let us define what research is. Research presents information gathered from interviews, reference books, websites, or other sources. It is a careful, systematic, and scientific study and investigation in some field of knowledge. It is a product of careful or diligent inquiry into a certain subject for the purpose of discovering and interpreting facts and then presenting them to a panel. In Tagalog, we call research pananaliksik. In Bisaya or Cebuano, we call it panuhid. So here are 
the technical terms used in research. Just like the SIP, we have these terms and also the same time patterns in making the chapter 1. First is the introduction. It gives readers the beginning of the piece of thread so they can follow it. It presents information from global, national, and local settings. Introduction gives, a, gives us a heads up to what we are expecting in the research paper. So this is an example of an introduction about social media and how it affects the writing skills of the students. This is the global where we can see what other countries has to say about this issue. We have the national where we can see this, uh, the issue from the Philippines. And also the local where we can see here in our city, the Davao City, about this issue. The next one is the purpose of the study. It is a statement of why the study is being conducted or the goal of the study. The goal of a study might be to identify or describe a concept or to explain or predict a situation or solution to a situation that indicates the type of study to be conducted. This part gives the answer of the why in making a research paper. This part also provides possible solution to the issue. This is an example of a purpose of the study. Let us proceed to the next one, the review of the related literature. It is a process and documentation of the current relevant research literature regarding a topic or subject of interest. It is composed of discussions of facts and principles to which the present study is related. In this part, we can see some related literatures of the study. It presents as well the readings related to the study. They may be obtained from the books, journals, magazines, internet, etc. We can always go to the library or even surf to the internet to find some of the information needed in this part. This is an example of the review of the related literature. The next one is the theoretical framework. It is the structure that can hold or support a theory of a research study. It refers to the theories or studies of varied authors as proven and tested. In this part, the researchers should look for theory or theories that will support and help the research study. These theories came from known proponents and proven and tested because of their experiments made. So, in Tagalog students, ito ay mga teoryang tumutulong sa ating pananaliksi. This is an example of a theoretical framework. You can see here that the study uses sociocultural theory of human learning theorized by Vygotsky. Let's move to conceptual framework. It refers to visual templates, illustrations, and examples to determine theories and methodologies for the research. To help you better understand, kini students, nagagamit kita o mga ilustrasyon aron mas masabtan ang topic. Mauni ang example sa conceptual framework. In here, we can see the independent and dependent variables. The next one is the statement of the problem. It states the questions that are ought to be answered by the researchers. This part shows us the questions that should be answered by the researchers at the end of the study. Here's the example of the statement of the problem. In here, we can see sets of questions that are related to the research topic. Now, let's proceed to hypothesis. It is a specific, clear, and testable proposition or predictive statement about the possible outcome of a scientific research study based on a particular property of a population, such as presumed differences between groups on a variable or relationships between variables. Inga parte, ipakita ang posibleng tubag 
sa research o panuhid. This is an example of a hypothesis. The researchers will utilize null hypothesis in order to come up with an answer. So let's proceed to the definition of terms. Defining important terms is essential to ensure a common understanding of key concepts and terminology is shared between the author and the readers or audience, particularly if the term is unusual or not widely known. This part provides meaning to those unfamiliar words that were used in the research paper. So here's the example of the definition of terms. The next one is, is the significance of the study. It mainly focuses on the question, who will benefit from the study? It describes what contribution the study will make and the usefulness of the study in the society. Dito pinapakita kung sino ang nakakabenepisyo sa pananaliksik. This is an example of the significance of the study. Those who can benefit were the teachers, the students, and the parents. Last but not the least is the scope and the limitation. It is to whom will the study be focusing, the limited, it contains the explanation of what information or subject is being analyzed. It deals with the extent of study to be made. This part shows who will be the respondents of the research study. Dito pinapakita kung sino ang mga taong focus sa pananaliksik. An example to this are presented on the screen. Okay, so before we start in our activity, do you have any questions with regards to our topic today? If there's none, then let's proceed to our activity. Turn your modules on pages 17 to 18 and answer activity 3, Pick Me Up. Choose a partner in answering this activity. You are given 5 minutes to answer this activity. Okay, so time's up. So, check your answers according to this answer key. Okay, so to assess your individual knowledge about our topic today, we will have our quiz. It is found on your module on page 20. Complete the following statements by filling out the blank with the appropriate technical terms used in research. You are given 5 minutes to answer this quiz. For the explanation, answer this question. What is the importance of learning these technical terms of research? You may attach your answers on the Google Forms provided to your respective GCs. Now let's proceed to your assignment. Provide your own meaning of the following research terms below. You may pass your answers on the Google Classroom. So that's it for now, students. Thank you very much for listening. See you once again for our English 10 class.